the chairman of the board of uh, Green Hills Academy, the head of school, principals, esteemed guest speaker, Mimi, our own, members of uh, the faculty and staff, esteemed parents, students, and alumni, class of uh, 2021. In Danga Mirgua, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening. You have no idea how happy I am to be here physically to celebrate this very special moment in the life of uh, 64 students of uh, Green Hills Academy, being able to once again see the graduating class dressed up in their gowns and caps live brings me so much joy. <clears throat> this year's uh, graduates have a unique story to tell, one that will be remembered for decades to come. Your flexibility and will to adapt to the strict COVID-19 preventive measures are to be commended. You made it and are well deserving to be recognized as Indanga Mirgua. The fight against this pandemic has especially impacted the education sector in Rwanda, as well as across the globe. As full-fledged team players to ensure that COVID-19 would be contained, you've taken responsibility for your daily actions. This has no doubt provided you with an unexpected crash course on what we call preparedness, in the lexicon of uh, humanitarian experts and a glimpse of uh, the unknown, life chooses to measure our character and resilience against. You have all adapted so well and succeeded to trading the comfort, friendliness and security that comes with uh, being in a classroom and having constant access to your teachers and peers to carrying out your, all your school activities by facing computers and screens. Thanks to the commitment and untiring efforts of our country's health professionals to respond, track, and treat COVID-19 cases, and all those involved in this life-saving endeavor, you are eventually able to return to school to finalize your school year. There is no doubt that the strict pandemic limitations imposed on you, such as team sports and group class projects, have influenced in some ways the nature and level of your interaction within and without the school environment. And despite, despite it all, you've found ways to support vulnerable families, communities during these challenging times. Donation of stationery of the Group Scolaire Rotonde, monetary support to the Root Foundation Women's Group, and donation of school bags to students at the Root Foundation in Kagugu, just to name a few. More than compassion, you have demonstrated communal solidarity, proving to us, and more importantly, to yourself, the true power of altruism. Again, I commend you for your resilience and diligence in the face of these uncustomary times. Dear graduates, in the face of all you have experienced, have confidence that there is a bright future ahead. While some of you have chosen to stay close to home to take advantage of what Rwanda has, has to offer, many of you have also secured acceptances to more than one university throughout the world, either in Australia, Belgium, Canada, Lithuania, Netherlands, Spain, United Arab Emirates, UK, and USA. As you go out in the world, either pursuing your studies or otherwise keep reaching out, keep using your abilities to bring out the best in those around you and let them bring out the best in you as you work towards excellence. Adapt your ambitions and passions to the needs of our diverse communities and countries and never forget our history. And driven by the values of unity and development, think critically and don't let fear stop you from challenging those that seek to dismantle what we have collectively built. Indeed, you have stories and memories from uh, your experience in Rwanda 
that of sharing the culture of such a resilient people. These precious memories will have made you open to acquire even more out of what life has in mind for you. Esteemed parents, breathe. They have made it. The support and dedication to your children and the school is admirable. This year has once again shown us that without your efforts, the journey towards adapting to this new normal would have been a turbulent one. You are the rock and foundation from which these young men and women can grow to become the leaders that we envision, the leaders that this country has been preparing for. For this, we are immensely grateful. Valuable members of faculty and staff, this is the second graduation during a pandemic and you are still standing, smiling, and giving it to you all. Thank you. The transition from physical classroom learning to online learning and once again to physical learning is undoubtedly not an easy one. It requires a lot of sacrifices, a lot of sacrifice, sorry, flexibility and dedication to pull it off. Nonetheless, you did it and made it look easy. This is a true reflection of the selfless commitment that comes through the honorable calling of being a dedicated teacher. I encourage and urge you to keep this spirit strong. And to the class of 2021, so much was already asked of you during this very challenging year. But if you allow me, I have only one more request. As you embark on this new journey, remember that for any obstacle you find on the way, there are always solutions. And as we have experienced, the best often comes out of difficult situations. I think Mr. Easy said it well. So be innovative in your outlook. Think out of the box. Source and resource yourself in seeking guidance from your professors who will be there to advise you and steer your way in the right direction. My deepest wish is that when the time comes, you each will make your respective home country the best it can ever be for all. Congratulations once again, and thank you for your kind attention.